Hi, and welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you about configuring a Cisco switch via NetConf and configuring a Palo Alto vSys via the API. To do this, we're going to take a set of design requirements outlined in the spreadsheet. And on the Cisco switch, we're going to create four VMANs, 40, 41, 10, and 11. Then we're going to configure the interfaces 3 and 4 and 10 and 11. Port channel 14 will include interfaces 3 and 4 and VLANs 40 and 41 in mode trunk. Interfaces 10 and 11 will be in port channel 15 and they will trunk VLANs 10 and 11. Then we're going to go on and we're going to configure the Palo Alto VSYS we're going to configure two interfaces. Interfaces 1, 3 with two sub-interfaces of 40 and 41 and Ethernet 1, 1 with sub-interfaces 10 and 11. We're going to assign an IP address to those interfaces. We're going to add a comment. We're going to create the security zone. We're going to create the virtual routers, two virtual routers, semi-trusted and trusted. We're going to add the next hop either being an IP address or a virtual router. We're going to give that route a name and then we're going to give it the default route that it needs. So, first of all, we're going to configure the switch. So reading in our design requirements into this Python script, we will go ahead and we will create our required design. As you can see, VLANs 10 and 11, 40 and 41 do not exist on the switch. And interface 3 and 4, 10 and 11 have not been configured. And port channels 14 and 15 do not exist. On the Palo Alto Visas, we can see none of our interfaces have been configured, none of our security zones are configured, and other than the default virtual router, we do not have any virtual router. So, by running our Python script, we will now go ahead and we will create the VLANs, we will create the port channels, we will configure the interfaces, and then we will move on and configure the Palo Alto thesis. So as you can see, VLANs 10, 11, 40 and 41 have now been configured. The interfaces have been configured and are added to the port channel and the VLANs have been added to the interfaces. And we've configured both of our port channels. That was all via NetConf. Now, onto the Palo Alto VSYS. As you can see, our interfaces have been configured. They've been set with our design requirements from the spreadsheet below. And we've created the virtual router and the security zones. So if we go into zones, you will see that each one of our security zones has been created and the interface has been added to that security zone. The virtual routers have been created, so semi-trusted has been created and we've added our two static routes into the virtual router and we've also added the interfaces. So as you can see, both of our interfaces have been added to this virtual router. Our static routes and our static route name has been configured. And our next top here is an IP address for semi-trusted. And if we have a quick look at trusted, we can see there quickly that 10 and 11 
Subinterface has been assigned to the trusted virtual router and we have two static routes. And again, we have our name that we defined in our design requirements. We have a destination. And we can see here that it's a next type and virtual router. So there we go, the next hop is semi-trusted virtual router. So a quick recap there is what we've done is we've configured a Cisco switch with four VLANs, we've created two port channels, and we've configured four interfaces. Then we've gone on and we've created a Palo Alto VSYS and we've assigned interfaces with sub-interfaces. We've created security zones, we've created the virtual router, and we've populated the virtual router with our requirements. Thank you.